Hi, I'm Helen from Journal with Purpose and today I'm going to share a flip through with you of my junk journal. Now I call this my reflective journal, it's where I record any free flow kind of thoughts and feelings. So unlike my traveller's notebook, this tends to be much more structured. So in here I have really, it's much more about daily records of things that have actually happened and so it will be much more factual based, talking about meetings, things I've managed to accomplish, places I've been and it's a really lovely place to keep all of that and it's in a very kind of structured format, you've got a few lines here for every day. Whereas in my junk journal I just use as much or as little space as I want every day to record everything really that's going on inside my head. So this is an A5 size junk journal and it's from the London Gifties shop and I've started to decorate the cover. So in here is a sticker that came with a book that I bought, one of Abby C's journaling books. And I've used some of the pages to letter in some quotes. And here I've included some paint swatches that I got from London Gifties. So I really just like to use this with little things that have happened. So I might put in tickets, notes that I've received in the post. Um, but also if I get new products, I like to include some little swatches in here as well. And most of my writing is in date order, but some of the bits I stick in, I really just put in wherever I fancy. I tend to change my writing around, sometimes this direction, sometimes going this way. But so this is where I'll be just sort of reflecting on how I'm feeling. So this day I'm saying like bonkers, everything feels so crazy at the minute. So it's really just emptying my head every evening. And this is a note I received from Christine at London Gifties in the Post. And I find it a really fun place to be creative and not worry about being neat, any kind of structure really to my pages at all. Any spare space on the pages I use to write on or I'll stick pieces of paper on top if they're text pages and I want to make sure that I've got enough, enough space to add some writing. So sometimes they're really short entries and other times I might go on for a couple of pages. And I love adding quotes if I see one that I really like. So that one was by Amy Tangerine. I actually copied her style as well as her quote. It's just a nice place to be able to play around. And this was some wrapping paper from my birthday present. And I like to include tipping cards as well for extra space to add some journaling. So here I'm journaling about, I was feeling a bit lost at that moment, lots of different things that were going on and I often find that by the time I've got to the bottom of writing I feel so much lighter and often brings me a bit of clarity, just that simple act of writing it down. If I really like the pages, particularly if they're floral, then I might add a card to the edge of the page so that I've still got somewhere to journal but don't cover up the lovely florals. And here I sewed a pocket. So this was just a brown paper bag. And then I used a little gift card, sort of a tag there. And again, did some sewing down the edge so that I've got somewhere nice to write on. And sewed some ribbon along here and along the edge of this page too. On these, because there was lots of heavy text on the paper, I used some white gesso, let that dry, and then it gave me two spaces to be able to write over the top. Again, little fruit stickers, really anything that I fancy gets put in here. That's more gesso again. 
In here I sewed another page, an old map page in there. And that was a little note that I received in the mail. Just did a bit of lettering and some journaling on the back. Again, more tipping cards. These are actually Project Life cards. I think there's just something so nice about adding different pieces to the junk journal. Obviously there's lots of lovely pages in here, but I really enjoy adding other little bits and pieces as I go. So here I've journaled about the journaling challenge I set and I was hoping people would enjoy it and get involved because that was the first challenge I'd set on my blog in quite a long time and that's gone down really well. But so any of my kind of anxious moments where I'm worried about things, again, I just write it all down here. And that was a little note from Christine and she sent me some new paints. So again, I've swatched those down below. And I find this so interesting to flip back through and look at how I was feeling. And one of the benefits for me is if there's something I've been quite anxious about, overthinking, when I then go back and read it and I realise that actually everything was okay, it helps me to deal with anything else that's coming up. Because I just think, yeah, look back at what happened a few months ago, look how you felt then. And really there was nothing to worry about. So it's a lovely reminder actually, not just the memories, but to sit and think about how things actually turned out, what was going on in my mind and how I might be able to kind of lessen how I'm feeling about certain situations coming up, particularly when I get nervous about things and I'm trying new things out. So here I did some journaling about my Skillshare classes and again I get nervous when I release a new Skillshare class just hoping that people will enjoy it and get something from it and that's just my place because I don't always want to bore everybody around me by saying oh I'm worried about this because there's often not much that other people can do to help or reassure me I just need to get it out of my head and onto paper. This is some lovely washi from London Gifties. And this was actually a project that I did for Colt Pens. And I've then used it as a journaling card and been able to stick it to the side of here. And this is when I received my first sample products of my own range. And this was just before we were going on holiday. So obviously that was really exciting for me. Here I've just put some paint on the paper just to give it a bit more colour. And this is from when we were on holiday. This was the map from the lodge we were staying in and a photo from our window out into the forest. And this was um, an A6 postcard, watercolour postcard, that I was playing with some lettering. So again, I'll just use it, put it in there. So it's kind of a journal of my creative practice as well. Any bits that I try on small pieces of card and paper, I stick in here, but then it has the double effect of being somewhere to then write, a, you know, write all my journal thoughts on the back as well. So this was my product launch day. So I've put in a little cat stamp again from London Gifties. That was me being all busy and did some writing on the back of there about how I was feeling. Stuck in there a photo of our dog um, Barney. I did put that in this journal as well, but the first print that came out, I wasn't too happy with the colours, but that's great. I can still put it in my junk journal. And this, if you saw my unboxing um, a couple of days ago from London Gifties, this was one of the cards that was in with the packaging. So I've put that in there and then my journaling from that evening. This is one of the pages I created using the die cuts and stamps from my product range. So this was last night's journaling. 
and I added, I used some of those new stamps that you might have seen in the unboxing, so had a bit of a play with those last night. So I'm just over halfway through this journal now. I've put in one of those postcards that again I showed in the unboxing. It'll be a lovely little place to journal. So whilst I'm writing in order, my decorations, extra tipping cards really get added in anywhere that I fancy as I have a look through my journal. So it's getting nice and thick now. Lots of lovely crinkly pages in there. And I will share another flip through once I've finished all of the pages in there. But I really hope you've enjoyed seeing inside my junk journal and how I use mine. Say it's such a freeing space for me. So I'd love to hear whether you use junk journals and whether you like this style of journaling. If you'd enjoyed the video, it'd be great if you'd leave it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing. Thank you ever so much for watching. I look forward to speaking to you really soon in the next one.